Okay, um, hi everyone. Um, I have to do this video all over again. Um, my phone turned off while I was recording and I don't know why. I don't even care right now. I don't even have time, time to get mad. I feel like we're in a state of emergency right now because Donald Trump is, is president. He'll be inaugurated after Christmas. And um, I don't know where to draw the line with uh, my mental wellness process and my ideals code of universal ethics with politicians. Because I believe when, when people become oppressive politicians, when people uh, act oppressively to the people of a, of a country, I believe they're no, they, they no longer act like human beings. They have choices. They can come back to the side of being human, or they can keep on being acting like, like, like they're psychopathic and not feel anything and not care and just do whatever they want. I know that Donald Trump could be a human being, but he's choosing to be an oppressive politician in my view. I'm really scared there's going to be a dictatorship, and I'm afraid that if the people continue to have a mentality of we can't do anything about it. Now, I even uh, got upset when my roommate told me about the, uh, the results just now. My reaction initially was, I, can't, I cannot deal with this. I'm not ready to deal with it. And he goes, uh, well, a lot of other people might be ready now. And I thought, that's right. If other people are ready to fight off oppression, all I can do is my part in fighting off oppression. And uh, another, another mentality that I think we have as Americans is don't watch the news. It's too oppressive, it's too uh, negative, it's too messed up. But I believe that to deal with the enemy, we have to understand it and we also have to pace ourselves and take breaks. Um, I work too hard too. I, am, I, I live and breathe psychology. I live and breathe my modules, life purpose, uh, behavioral awareness, um, life experiences, and emotions and thoughts process. I live and breathe them and my universal ethics code of geismic, gratitude, integrity, ethical love, safe home, modesty and compersion. I um, live and breathe it every day and the reason I do is because I have to stay sane. I have to have a reason to, to go on and survive. I have to have a focus and um, in my life purpose module, my life purpose is to try and help do my part in help keeping the world a safe place because it has not been very safe, especially lately. And um, I, um, I think Donald Trump can be a human being if he chooses to be and be careful with what he does to the people right now or he can do whatever he wants and if he does that and very likely he will he will try really hard it is our responsibility as people to be ready for that and if you do support what he's doing god bless you because you're contributing to uh a dictatorship starting and oppression starting even more and no no more freedom you know if republicans believe in freedom you're gonna lose it and there's only gonna be freedom for some of you and not not freedom for everyone and it's gonna backfire because as a human species we do need each other as a people on this planet and in this country and if we keep on supporting oppression either either actively or passively we're gonna have oppression and uh, we are gonna keep having corporate rule and we're gonna keep uh, going through the same old stuff without even knowing why we're gonna keep being angry and frustrated and sad and we're gonna not have our needs met and it's gonna the world is gonna keep on being a negative place let's break the chain of violence we need to stop carrying it and find a new way and whatever it is. And it's not rioting and looting. It's not, you know, continuing violence. It's, it's fighting, fighting violence by, by not being violent unless it's absolutely necessary. And I think if there is a dictatorship, the people may have, us people may have to uh, fight it off eventually. And I'm not looking forward to that. I don't want that. I honestly don't. 
I hope that it doesn't come to that, but it will if we don't if we don't uh, nip it in the bud right now in a nonviolent way. We can do something about it collectively. Let's do our part. Whether it's writing to our uh, Congress people, whether it's writing to Donald Trump himself, um, whether it's having uh, nonviolent, peaceful demonstrations, and insisting that they listen to us, you know, because some lots of times demonstrations don't seem to help, because the governments can still do whatever they they still think they can do whatever they want, especially the Israeli government. So, um, ooh, there's a fight coming. There's a fight coming. Let's be creative and imaginative, and let's rally ourselves. Let's do it with our, with, I'm going to do it with my mental wellness process. I'm going to do it with my IQ, with my ideal code of universal ethics. Gratitude, what are you grateful for today? Integrity, create a safe universe around you and inside you, no matter what. Peaceful quietness inside, you know, there, there's hammering going on in our building. There's roofing going on, and ugh, I'm, 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 I don't have time right now to react to it right now because I'm talking. Um, ethical love, for goodness sakes, don't use it for a, don't use it as a drug. Um, find out what love really is. You know, lo love for your family, love for your friends. Love if you don't have friends and family, close your eyes and imagine making some right now. Imagine choosing your family. Imagine making some new friends. I know it's hard. I can't really feel it either. But, um, you know, what's the alternative? Isolating and, and staying mad, staying scared? What's the alternative? Not that. No. Um, safe home was a result of ethical love and integrity and gratitude. And um, modesty, stop flattering yourselves and politicians and each other. Love each other in a realistic way. For God's sake. For God's sake, literally, for God's sake. Compersion. Break the cycle of jealousy. Break the cycle of a feeling of have not. I know, we're not all getting our needs met. It sucks. I'm still not getting a lot of my needs met. I can't even find a damn doctor in network. <sighs> hate it. I flipping hate it, but I have choices. I can act violent, I can act like an asshole, or I can get depressed and hate myself some more, like I've always done all my life, or I can do my part in trying to help change that. Change it inside me and change it out there. Oh, happy President Trump. Mm. He does have a choice to be a human being or to be an oppressive politician.